Captain Paul here for The Locker Room. If you haven't already, please make sure to subscribe. And this story is a sad one. So Robin Leonard owes $50 million in debt to dozens of creditors, going back to a $1.2 million snake collection that was bought in 2017 and $4 million that is owed to a Wisconsin company just last year. This is a train wreck, and this is the perfect example of how doesn't matter how rich or how much money you make, if you do not know how to handle money, you will go back to being broke and poor. I think Robin Leonard's story is one of persevering, and I will give him a little bit of slack in the 2017 purchase, because he's on record saying he was very depressed and not in a correct mental state when he was in his last few years in Buffalo. So I'll try to give him a pass. But when you make the same mistakes later on when you're doing better mentally, I'm not gonna just blame your depression on poor handling of money. Robin Leonard signed a five-year, $25 million deal with the Vegas Golden Knights. He has millions coming in, but that's $25 million. He's 50 million in debt. And after this contract, he won't be making five per year. Very, very unlikely. He'll probably be in a backup or more of a transitional period within his career where maybe he makes around two to three million. There needs to be far more education for these players when it comes to handling with money. It's just sad. I mean, you see that situation with Evander Kane where he got really done with his money. Now you see the situation with Robin Leonard. It kind of goes to show Regardless of how much money you make, if you are not careful with it, you can still become broke. You can still be living on the streets. That's just the reality of the situation when you are not fiscally responsible. And this is sad for a multitude of reasons because I feel like Robin Leonard really did turn it around after he went to the Islanders, right? He went from Ottawa to Buffalo. Then he went to the Islanders for one year under Lou. And that's where he kind of made that transition into becoming that elite type goalie. Went to Chicago, then got traded to Vegas. They signed him in Vegas to take over and become the franchise goaltender when they had Marc-Andre Fleury there. And as more time goes on, yes, Fleury's older, that deal just looks far worse and worse and worse. Because Marc-Andre Fleury, while a lot older than Leonard, is still playing at a competent level. Now, Vegas hasn't been hit as hard with the goaltending because Thompson has stepped up and has become a great number one. But the Knights are still tied to Leonard for the foreseeable future. They're paying him quite a bit of money per year. And this is a cautious tale of spending within your means. When I say this, do not take this the wrong way, hockey fans, because hockey is my favorite sport. But Robin Leonard spending money like he's in the MLB, the NBA, or the NFL. The financial levels are just not the same. Hockey is my favorite sport, but I would be lying to myself if I believed an NHL hockey player had the same marketability of any of the three other major sports in North America. They just don't. The sport isn't as popular. There's not as much of a reach. I mean, look at in comparison to guys like Sidney Crosby, a legend within his own right. He is far less recognizable compared to other major sports athletes like Tom Brady, LeBron James, Mike Trout. I could go on and on and on. That's not to say that hockey players aren't talented, but let's just deal with the reality of the situation. NHL players aren't as popular because the sport isn't as popular. And the reason why I bring that up is this five year, $25 million contract is probably gonna be the last time Leonard makes that much money per year. The marketability for a goaltender who isn't even the greatest of his generation is just far less. He won't be making hundreds of millions of dollars after he retires. This is the peak of his financial earning most likely. And that's not a knock. He's still gonna make a ton of money most likely. But when you owe $50 million in debt, that just shows you don't have your money in correct order and just spending money on frivolous things like a snake farm, that just doesn't make sense. You're spending money like you're an NBA star. You're not spending money within your own means. I would be interested to hear your thoughts down below. I'm trying to be conscientious of the fact that Leonard has been dealing with mental health issues throughout his career, and this could be playing a part of it. But I think there's also going to be more financial literacy with some of these athletes when it comes to spending and knowing what they're investing into and seeing what they could get a return on. Because it just time and time again proves, doesn't matter how rich, how wealthy you are, how much money you earn, if you do not know how to handle it you can easily lose everything at the drop of a hat 
I'm Captain Paul, and I will see you in the next video.